I just stared at a computer screen for the last nine hours. Now I want to stare at a bass's face. You know what that means? Work time is over. Fish time has begun. Do you feel like you're always working and never fishing? I'm here to show you that even on a tight schedule, you can still catch fish. Welcome to Work Hard, Fish Hard. Season two, chatterbaits and swim jigs. Tossing my good old fashioned bluegill colored chatterbait elite today. I'm at this highly pressured body of water and we're fishing in the rain. All right, let's keep moving and grooving. Yeah, all I have with me is just a pocket full of chatterbaits that are already rigged up. Just a bunch of random ones. Got a couple white ones, chartreuse, and then I got a black and blue. So if I want to switch it up, I can. Smells like dookie out here. Ugh. Water's not super clear, but it's not super dingy either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. A little bit of stained action. It's good clarity. Even though this is my confidence chatterbait, I'm gonna switch to my chartreuse one. I feel like I need something just a little more bright. This will do the trick. I got a fish. I couldn't tell, it almost felt like a snag. First cast with a chartreuse. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look how he choked that. It makes all the difference, just using the right color. That's what I'm talking about right there. Man, he just chomped it. Really got him right in the roof of that mouth. There we go. All right, bud, thank you so much. Chartreuse chatterbait, baby. Work hard, fish hard. Boom, we're on the board. I am glad I brought the chartreuse chatter. Come on, we gotta get a couple more. This is a very pressured body of water. Nobody's fishing it today because nobody wants to brave the, the rain. All right, I think we might need to keep grooving here. Wait, there's another, another fish. Little guy, little guy. Little guys need 11 too. You gotta catch dinks before you catch donks, my friends. Boom shakalaka, look how they're choking that. Bro, they're choking this right here. They are absolutely throttling this chartreuse chatter. Little juicy. Gotta catch dinks before you catch donks, my friends. All right, see ya, squeaker. I love largemouth bass. Yes, I do. I love largemouth bass. How about, oh my goodness. How about you? How about you guys? I love this so much. Three fish all in the same spot. My friends, each and every one of them choking this freaking chatter. I don't care that they're not all that big. Oh, after work, it feels wonderful. I like chartreuse chatterbaits. Why? Because fish choke them. Let's turn her loose, bud. Say up. I'm having a hard time believing the fact that I've caught three fish in a row on such a heavily pressured body of water. I'm so stoked right now. So this is where we caught all three of those fish, but I'm kind of thinking that this spot is running out of its juice. So let's keep moving. Did it do? All right, all right. Who's ready? I'm catching another over here, guaranteed. There's one, little guy. All right, four fish. Would not have expected to catch four fish today, to be quite honest with you. Look at that, I double hooked him through the side and then through the top. Okay, he wants to go home. Okay, you wanna go home, buddy? You go home. Here's another good one. Good one. Good. Good. Yeah, baby. Best fish of the day for sure. Not a giant by any means, but he's a fatty. Boom shaka laka. Boom shaka laka, folks. Chartreuse chatterbait in the noggin. Picking the right color makes all the difference, my friends. Let's turn this one loose. Okay, buddy. Go. Okay. Okay. See you, bud. That one bit a little deeper. I let it sink a little bit and then I kind of was slow rolling it. He just kind of slurped it. It was like not an aggressive bite. All of a sudden I just feel weight. I don't know that I've ever really got on him with a chartreuse chatterbait. Normally I'm kind of a either white, 
green pumpkin, black and blue. Those three have always been good to me. We're gonna go to the riverside. Oh, there's a good fish. Good bite. Yeah. God, they're fighting hard. Yes. Boom. Shakalaka. Can I get a boom shakalaka? I love this so much. It's windy out, but my friends, they're still eating. He felt so big. Man, they are really pulling so hard today. There's another one, two casts in a row. Two casts in a row. Decent. Man, they're all about the same size. They're all about the same size, my friends. They are throttling this. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked right now. Two in a row. Is that fish legal? Is that fish legal? Length? Is he long enough to keep? Well, what's the length limit? Because that fish is what, like 10 inches? It gotta be 14 inches. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it's all conservation. And those fish being kept at a young age, it hurts the ecosystem. Uh, appreciate it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you really heard that interaction, but essentially that guy tried keeping like an eight or 10 inch bass, it was really small. I just wanna elaborate. I don't care if people catch fish and keep them. They should keep fish if they want to keep fish, but by all means, you gotta do it legally. There's a reason the DNR comes up with the length regulations. They know what's best for the ecosystem. So when you challenge that and you do stuff illegally, I have a problem with that. Anyways, I just wanna catch more fish and I want future generations of anglers to catch more fish. So let's get back to fishing. Oh baby, I love bass fishing. I wanna catch a jumbo bass. Oh my gosh, a jumbo, a jumbo. I was singing to myself. I like making up weird lyrics and I've got a jumbo on. Juicy, thick, mama, coming up. You have kidding me. She got me in the grass and freaking. <clears throat> what can you do, people? Probably a three pounder. I didn't get a good look at her. It was just a good fish. Got me deep in the grass, popped me off. Arg. Maybe if I wasn't singing these stupid songs, but then again, I like singing stupid songs. The thing is, is once you get in that grass, your line kind of gets behind something and just enough, it's just enough slack to where he could just shake his head once, whew, hook goes bye-bye. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the bass sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the bass sleeps tonight. Oh, there's a bite. He's down in the grass. Get him, get him. No more lost fish. Good fish, good fish. Good juicy one. Good and juicy. Good and juicy, baby. Oh, ho, ho. juicy mama, don't you stop. Let's go. Hook just popped out. Can we get a quick boom shakalaka, folks? Can we? Can we get one? Go ahead, comment it below. Decent fish, peeps, decent fish. I'm gonna have to toss him in over this duckweed. Boom shakalaka, all right. I had expectations of coming here and probably blanking, not catching anything. And here we are, eight fish later. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wish I had more time to fish. There's a good one. Feels like a good one at least. Hard to say. Man, they're pulling so hard. Come on, come on. <sighs> God, they are pulling hard. They're not, he's not even big. God, they are pulling hard today. Like, felt like, I'm telling you guys, I've caught a lot of fish this size, and he felt about four times his size. <laughs> God bless him. Good work, buddy. You are gonna be brutal when you get to five pounds. Whew. God, they're just active today. I think it's just this cold front. He's way out there. I pinned him, there's no way he's getting off. Not a chance, boy. You can try, but you ain't going nowhere, bud. Yeah, baby. What, we got 10 fish? Post-work fishing trip, 10 fish later, we're feeling just dandy, y'all. 
chartreuse chatterbait, largemouth bass. Life is good. I have fallen in love with this bait. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. God, freaking another one, people. Why was I singing like a woman? I'm not sure, but I, I was having fun. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm having fun. I'm singing songs. Normally, if you find me singing songs while I'm fishing, life is pretty good. Like, there's so many of these same little fish, but people, it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> Oh, baby, I love bass fishing. I want to do it every day, every day. I'll leave it linked in the description. It's just a Chatterbait original, um, and I believe this is a walleye assassin swim bait. It works really well on the back of this Chatterbait, not going to lie. And I brought zero extra trailers with me. This is the same trailer the entire time. It's kind of like a durable plastic, and I bit off the front of it um, because it was starting to rip a little, but it's still working. Man, have so another one. Oh, that might have been grass. There he is. There he is. Golly, there's a lot of fish. Dad gummit. What happened? No. Ugh. Yep, right there, right by that weed edge. There he is. I was gonna say I thought wanted to get one on that cast. Oh, a little guy. Little guy. Whoa, it's a pike. That's interesting. One pike for the day. <laughs> Looky there, boys. Why do they have to do that? Why can't you just relax, buddy? Just, just chill, just chill. Just chill, buddy. All right, let's see. Now, now you need to let go. Like if you would let go, your life would be easier. There you go, buddy. Just a little slimy gator right there, boys. See ya, bud. Okay, okay. I wonder if I've missed any of them earlier. Hands all slimy. The fact that it took me that long to get a little slime pickle, you know what? I'm pretty surprised. I tell you folks what, it was super fun today. I'm so glad I came out. I wasn't planning on coming out. It wasn't raining, so I'm like, whatever, I'm going. This chartreuse chatterbait though, and more importantly, this little walleye assassin swim bait, awesome. This was great. You know what I'm gonna say next, right? Work hard, fish hard, let's go.